What is up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I have something very exciting for you. This is gonna be the first video in a huge series of videos on a massive home out here in Colorado. You guys know I've been out here in Colorado the last few years and really just, have fallen in love with this area and fallen in love with my customers out here. You guys know that I spent the last 10 years out there in Texas and built up a massive network in the South and done thousands and thousands of homes. And now we've expanded into many different regions, all the way to the West Coast in California, all the way out to the East Coast in New York, New Jersey. Shout out to Jose with Wire Ninjas. Anyways, you guys know that we're our mission here at Dream Media is to put a home theater into every single house in America, right? We love home electronics and we love delivering that experience to you guys and seeing the look on your face whenever the system lights up. And it, I always tell people we are like kids, big kids playing with toys. And I love my job and I love it because I get to see the look on y'all's face whenever the system fires up and it just blows your mind. Uh, we work with all the industry leading products and the industry leading professionals and this project out here is unique. You know that we've done tons of homes in Texas, a lot of new construction projects where, you know, from the framing stage, we just pre-wire it. You get a 5.1 in the living room with distributed audio throughout the house and the theater room and it's just super easy. And and uh, there's not a whole lot of depth to the installation just because we do so many of them. Well, this project out here is unique because we're gonna be retro wiring the entire house. Um, I think it's right under 12,000 square feet in footage. And um, here, I'm gonna pull over uh, so that I can finish this video for you guys. But um, anyways, I'm heading out there to this project right now. And we're gonna be doing a combination of things. We're gonna be doing uh, arachnus networking, a mesh network throughout the entire home. And then we're gonna be doing Luma surveillance, a full 16 channel NVR system for security so that the entire property is covered. I think this is sitting on 40 acres. So really unique property with amazing views. You guys are gonna just love following along with this series. We're doing Focal speakers throughout the entire house for all the distributed audio zones, as well as we're doing um, JVC projection, screen innovations, screen. Um, we're going to be doing uh, TVs, of course, throughout the entire house. I think there's going to be eight or nine. This actually is an indoor pool in Colorado, which for people that don't live in Colorado, that's very unique. This is just a super cool property and I'm honored to be able to deliver this content to you. Really, the customer put his trust in me, which means the world to me. I am managing the entire project from start to finish. We're gonna be doing control four even uh, to make sure that everything is just seamless and super easy to use. Uh, the whole house is gonna be automated. So from killer audio, to awesome networking to give him strong Wi-Fi when he's out here at his property, um, to surveillance so that whenever he's not at the property, he can uh, cover the entire thing and feel safe that everything is uh, locked down. Um, we really have him covered. And this project, I'm gonna take you out there right now and walk you through the entire thing and show you what our game plan is. But you guys gotta subscribe to the channel because this is gonna be a huge series and I'm gonna try to give you as much detail as possible from pre-wiring to turn terminations, um, to mounting cameras, to how access points work and how mesh networks work and um, how distributed audio systems work, how control systems work, and really just giving you a deep dive into our everyday life here at Dream Media. Um, you know that we've been doing a lot of product reviews and really pushing product because we ship stuff throughout the entire country, um, which we're still gonna continue to do every single day. And we can't do it without you guys. We really appreciate your support. Anyways, reach out, utilize our free consultation service. My guys are on standby. They'll do a FaceTime video with you, Zoom, whatever, walk through your property and we'll tailor products specifically to your needs and budget. Okay, well, guys, that's all I got. Let's get out there and check this system out. Let's go.
Okay guys, so before we go into the home, I'm going to walk around the perimeter of the property and show you what we're doing for surveillance. Like I said, we're gonna be using Luma cameras. Uh, this is a Snap One product, a uh, nationwide, really reputable company, and we're gonna be running Cat 6A to all of our cameras. And this is the industry standard now. We don't really do a lot of coaxial um, uh, DVRs anymore. Everything is NVR. It's because you can get a lot higher quality. Okie dokie. So starting here by the garage, we're gonna be doing camera here. We're going to have one firing out towards the driveway, covering this entire area, as well as one firing down the side of the house. Literally because we want to cover every single angle of this house, we're going to be doing a total of 16. As you come over here, out here on this corner of the house, we're gonna have one firing out towards the yard and another one firing back this direction, covering this entryway here. As you make your way around the house, um, you're gonna see that we are gonna cover every single angle on this property. So coming around to this side here, we're gonna have another camera right here at this door entrance. This is an old intercom system, and we're gonna be ripping this out and putting in a Control 4 camera that can integrate into the full Control 4 system. Next camera is gonna be out here, and we're gonna fire down into this area here, and we're gonna fire out towards the front yard, which I'll walk around to there right now. It is a chilly out here, guys. All right, so this is the front of the property. Again, guys, intercoms, uh, these old school runs, uh, they're getting ripped out. We're putting in control four and that's gonna have a camera on it as well. That's gonna cover this area. We're also gonna put one up here at the entry, somewhere we haven't really decided, depending on attic access, firing out to cover the whole front area. Continuing around the property, you can see these little stickies. That's where we've kind of predetermined locations. So we're gonna have another one right there firing out this direction. Out here on the barn, we're actually gonna do a pan tilt zoom camera that actually is constantly moving and searching for motion. It's gonna be pretty cool. You can see stickies right here, one covering this little dead spot here, and then another one firing off the back end of the property. <sighs> I'm breathing heavy because we're at about 10,000 feet in elevation. So this is actually the master bedroom here, and you can see they got a nice little patio here. I'll get into distributed audio and everything here in a minute, but camera firing out this direction. Right here, uh, two cameras, and you can see we even got an access point marked out. So we're gonna have 
Let me get you guys into the field of view. We're gonna have one fire in this direction here. And you know, when we're on that side of the property, I said we're gonna have one firing out this way. So we'll have every single angle on the property covered. And then the other one's gonna fire this way. Okay, so that's the exterior cameras. And next I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you the Wi-Fi system, which is gonna be interior and exterior. We're actually running a fiber optic cable out there. So it even has Wi-Fi out by the shed. Pretty cool stuff. Show you the theater room. I'm gonna show you the entire house, but I'm freezing. I'm gonna run in and uh, catch you guys in there in one second. All right, guys, let's get into the house and check this system out. So, or check this demo job out, I should say. <laughs> I'm so used to doing completed projects for you guys. So this is going to be amazing, guys. And there's just so much opportunity for me to show you the complexities of the, the different processes that we use on a daily basis. So as you can see, like throughout the house, there's this green tape. This is kind of our rough idea of where all of our wiring is going to go based off of our wiring diagrams. Got some of our wire right here that was delivered. We're going to be running fiber optic as well as, um, yeah, we're going to be running fiber as well as uh, Cat 6A shielded wire. We use the best of the best here at Dream Media, unless the customer specifies otherwise. We really wanna make sure that we're future-proofing all of you guys' homes. So as we enter the home, you can see, I'm just gonna walk through and show you everything, all aspects, distributed audio, surveillance, um, as well as um, the Wi-Fi so, and control. So we're gonna do a control panel here, control four, as well as an access point up here on the ceiling. And then I'll just pan around. This is the main great room and kitchen, which is all being gutted and redone. You can see this is definitely 90s vibes. <laughs> so as we continue through, you can see there's already some speakers in place. All the speakers are some really super old, junky Polk Audio speakers. So all of those are getting ripped out and replaced with the Focal speakers. I believe we're doing the 300 series throughout the main areas and then 100 series in the secondary areas that aren't as important. And then downstairs in the theater, we're gonna be doing the 1000 series. But for the kitchen, Focal speakers are just gonna be replacing the current speakers that are there. So a 4.1 system is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Focal 1000 series in wall subwoofer, probably like in this stud bay here, um, and then run the wires up from the bottom. There's a basement underneath us um, all the way up to like where our access point is gonna go. So 4.1 in this area. And the Focal 1000 series uh, subwoofer is a passive sub, pretty much all in-wall subwoofers are. Floor standing speakers, floor standing subwoofers have the amplifier built into it, so you run an RG6 cable versus we're gonna be running speaker wire to these subwoofers. So same thing goes in this room here. The customer wants it clean, right? He wants it to, to look really sharp. So we're gonna be doing in-wall speakers all the way around here as well. The two that are back there are just gonna be removed and these speakers back here are gonna be the 300 series um, in walls, and they're gonna be down here at ear level. And then you can see over there, it's marked out for the 12.2. We're gonna put in the 1000 series Focal subwoofer. So between the sub there and the sub there, it's gonna give really nice dispersion throughout the entire space. You can hear there's insane reverb in this room, um, but hopefully we're gonna be working with the construction company as well as the designers on this home to put up things like curtains as well as like a big rug here to help improve our audio quality. But just by bringing the speakers down to ear level, it's gonna improve the quality a lot already. Front of the room, this whole fireplace is getting gutted um, and we're doing a whole new one. 
So we're gonna be doing the 300 series LCRs right here for the front right, center, and front left, down here at ear level. Now, the in-wall LCR center is gonna require a little bit more work. When this is all being done, we're gonna put a pre-construction bracket into place, and then they're gonna do some custom stone work around it, and then paint match it so that it blends in with the fireplace. There's gonna be just so many elements to this project that I think you guys are gonna love it. I mean, I'm really excited to be out here and uh, have this opportunity to create this content for you guys. Um, in all TV locations, we're gonna be putting in power, well, not necessarily me, but the construction company, as well as we're gonna be running um, two Cat6 A's as well as an RG6 cable to all those terminations. And the reason we're running Cat 6A is because with homes this size, you really just can't use uh, HDMI. And the reason is because HDMI has limits on distance, plus it gets outdated. With Cat 6A, we can use something called a Balin. And what a Balin does is it converts the signal over the Cat 6 cable to HDMI so that as technology changes, this customer can just switch out the Balins and have the most current HDMI. So like, you know, a few years back, it was HDMI 1.4, then 2.0, and you get it. They, it's, it's constant. Every few years, we have a new version. So as he upgrades that TV, long term, we want him to have an upgrade path for getting that signal from the rack room, which is downstairs, to this TV. Um, access point is going to go up here. So we have Wi-Fi here and we have Wi-Fi here, and then the other one is gonna be, you can see the piece of tape up top there, and the reason that we're doing it kind of on the, the outer skirts is so that it covers the patio as well. Um, so that's the 4.1 for the kitchen and the 5.1 for the living. Let's keep on walking through. Go to the master first. So while we're thinking Wi-Fi, we're gonna have another access point in this hallway here. It's actually gonna go, there's like a room right up here. I'll show you guys where we're going to be putting the access point. No speakers going in this room, but we are gonna put a TV up there with two Cat6 and a RG6 coax. Access point's gonna go in there. So with a mesh network, you really got to basically, they're like bubbles, right? Bubbles of Wi-Fi. They have to overlap. So if the Wi-Fi isn't overlapping, your IP address isn't going to seamlessly hand off from one to the next. Okay, so this is going to be a, a spare bedroom. We're going to put a TV up there. This whole wall it looks, no, they haven't done it yet, but they're gonna move this wall out to where it's flat right here. And this is the master bathroom that's gonna get blown out for a bigger shower. You can see speaker 16, or he put 12 for, but um, we're actually using 14 for. Um, whenever you're running a uh, dual voice coil speaker. It's like two speakers in one. It's a stereo speaker. It actually has two tweeters. You have to run two speaker wires. So we're going to do a weatherproof dual voice coil in ceiling speaker right above what is going to be the shower. And then this room isn't getting any speakers either. Just TV up there on the wall two cat six and coax. Continuing through, this is the master bedroom. This whole thing's getting blown out too and redone. Really this whole room, like you can see they already removed some of the, um, the wall here. Now, this is gonna be a 5.1 system. The speakers currently in place are really not ideal because if you're sitting here in bed, this is where the, the bed's gonna be, the speakers are just firing right over your head 
and bouncing all around. And by the time it reaches your ear, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. So you can see we got a speaker, speaker, same thing there, speaker, speaker. They're gonna go in the ceiling and fire straight down like that for the front left and right and the rear left and right. Not absolutely ideal, but the customer wants it to be clean. So we're taking into account design and wife approval here. Um, you can see we're gonna do another access point on this end of the house so that it kind of covers out here to that patio that I showed you earlier. Um, and then the TV is gonna go here. There's gonna be a new fireplace built here in this corner and we're gonna be running a speaker wire for the center speaker as well as um, we're gonna be putting in the uh, CAT6 and RG6. And sub will go over there in that corner. This is the bathroom. I'm gonna do another speaker, another speaker. So he'll have the independent zone control of the shower, but he can also group it together with this whole entire room. Or he could have something different playing in this room, and then his wife could be watching a movie over here in this room. As we continue, as you can see, there's still a lot of work to do on this project. Our, our mountains are about to start showing here soon. So out here, distributed audio, independent zone control. Those are being replaced. All of the exterior speakers, even the ones in the pool, which I'm gonna show you soon, which is super cool. Um, they're gonna be Stealth Acoustics. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that company before, um, but we brought it on. I think we've used it a couple times here and there, but I'm gonna promote it heavily just because they have some really nice outdoor speakers that actually have this soffit adapter that's gonna allow us to retrofit those into the ceiling. It's, it was really difficult to find something that would work in this situation because whoever built this house, they use non-weather rated outdoor or non-weather rated indoor speakers outside. So like all the woofers are cracked and they, they're just ruined, right? But typically whenever you do a outdoor speaker that's weatherproof, it's a circular shape, whereas these are rectangular shaped. And it was really difficult to find a manufacturer that made a in-ceiling square-shaped weatherproof speaker. And um, Stealth Acoustics, theirs isn't actually in-ceiling. They just make this adapter. It's a fully enclosed weatherproof speaker that typically mounts to the exterior of the wall, but they have this uh, soffit adapter that allows you to uh, retrofit it and inset it into the ceiling. So I'm gonna make separate videos on that, but I thought I'd point it out right now. Uh, pretty cool product. A lot of planning has already gone into this project. Okay, continuing through. All along the patio out here, I'll show you in just a minute, there's two speakers there, two speakers there, all independently controllable. This old school rotary style volume control is gonna go. We're ripping that out and we're gonna put a control four panel in there that's kind of central to the home so that they can easily control everything. Oh, it is early guys. It's eight o'clock in the morning here in Colorado mountain time. So this is just a guest room and the bed's gonna go over here. So we decided to put the TV up there. Um, distributed audio again, Focal 100 series. We're gonna rip those speakers out and just replace them. Old school rotary style, all is gonna disappear. Everything's gonna be controllable through the customer's phone. Another access point. So you can see like the other one's gonna be way over there. Next one's gonna be here. And that's gonna allow us to just mesh perfectly. Kitchen, entry, this room. TV up here above the fireplace. We're gonna run RG6, CAT 6A. Speakers are gonna remain in the same location, just replaced with uh, the Focal speakers. Continuing onwards. So this is what was here before, guys, which 
I want to show this to you because I'm sure a lot of you guys bought a house with something similar to this. So they have their amplifier down here and the amplifier feeds to what's called a speaker selector. Um, this is pretty old school, um, but it gets the job done. Um, what it does is impedance matching to where it does protect the speakers and it correctly distributes the power outputting from this amplifier to all of these different zones, which you can see they had six of them. But with these old school systems, you know, like your um, tuner, your, your CD player, um, you would just be able to play one thing throughout the entire house and you would turn the zone on or off and then you would control the volume from the wall. And that was great, but there was no independent zone control and independent sourcing. So like you couldn't be grilling and chilling out on the patio or going for a swim and listening to rock and roll while your significant other or family is in there watching a movie or um, listening to jazz music. So every single room throughout this entire house, you can play totally different content and distribute it. You can pair them together in any way that you'd like, independently play it, just total independent control. So as you can see, we're gonna just move all the wiring here after we test it to make sure it's good. We're gonna move that wiring back to the rack downstairs, which is down these stairs here. Nothing really to show you in here. We have our intercom that's gonna be out there. This is just the laundry room. We might get into, the customer hasn't really decided yet, but we're gonna show you every aspect of control four on this project. So like, say if he gets into like um, water sensors and um, things like that, um, we'll, we'll make sure to show you that as well. So continuing through, I know we said we were gonna do an access point somewhere in here. I believe it's, yeah, it's right there. So we're gonna have one in the kitchen, we're gonna have one here, and then the other one's gonna be out there on that corner because if he's hanging out in this hot tub here, I wanna make sure that he has solid Wi-Fi so that he can do his emails or sit back and watch a movie with the family. This is the pool. How cool is this? <laughs> I know my Texas people are like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, indoor pool, whatever. But in Colorado, this is cool. Pools are not your everyday thing up here. It's, it's hot tubs and that's what you get. So this indoor pool is pretty cool. You can see we have a total of eight speakers out here. And we already popped one out, this was our test. They use the exact same speaker throughout the entire house. This really cheap, get the job done Polk speaker. The ones outside are just totally ruined, but the ones inside, um, I don't know, we haven't tested them, but either way, they've been in the house 20 years, we're gonna rip them out and do the stealth acoustics out here that can actually withstand the humidity that you're gonna get from the pool. And then outside, we're getting extreme weather conditions. Sorry guys, the camera died. So uh, back to what I was saying, we're not even into fall yet, we're already getting some snow. The weather conditions here in Colorado are extreme to say the least. I mean, he's gonna have, several feet of snow piled up back here. And we wanna make sure that these speakers keep bumping. So all of these speakers, you can see we have two here, and then there's two there and two there for a total of um, eight speakers throughout this back patio area. We're gonna do those stealth acoustics, which are weather rated, have an awesome warranty, fully enclosed. It's gonna give him great audio throughout this entire space. We're gonna do a PTZ camera out here, which um, I think I pointed out earlier so that it scans, uh, same one that we're doing on the barn. Um, and then we're also gonna put an access point right there. So even if he's playing soccer with his kids out here or whatever, um, he's gonna have solid Wi-Fi everywhere out here. Same thing goes here, cameras and access point. And then like I was showing you earlier, the kitchen, there's gonna be one right there 
and then there's gonna be another one out there. So they're all gonna mesh together to where they seamlessly hand off one huge Wi-Fi network, one network name, and whenever he enters the property, it's just gonna transition throughout the entire house flawlessly. So that's the pool room. Another thing that the customer is gonna be doing is lighting control. You know, I was talking about like water sensors and stuff from Control 4. We're gonna be showing you the lighting control aspect as well. And if you guys aren't sold on Control 4, we carry all the major manufacturers or we have partners in different areas that do. So like I was saying on our intro, you know, we have guys on the West Coast, East Coast, all in the South, um, mid country. We got the local pros to get you hooked up and then Dream Media can provide all the product for you. So we got really good relationships with everybody. So this area is cool. This is a lock off separate apartment and the customer is excited obviously to get out here and start enjoying this with his kids so while the renovation is going on he's going to have this finished first and then they're going to come stay here while they finish the rest of the house you can see they're laying out some of the color samples some of the colors on the wall we're going to be Removing this speaker here and just doing one there and one there. TV. Power, Cat6, RG6 over the fireplace. One dual voice coil speaker in here so that they can independently play the music whenever they're showering versus the main area here. Access point right here in the closet. I'll put it up top. And that's gonna mesh together with the pool room, which is right here. So you guys are getting the idea, right? We're gonna have every single corner of this house covered with surveillance as well as Wi-Fi and distributed audio. And then I think there's more than enough TVs. <laughs> So that's the main level. Now I'm gonna take you guys downstairs to the rack room or what will be the rack room and uh, show you our game plan down there. There's also our favorite here at Dream Media, the theater room. So let's keep on moving through. As the sun's coming out, I'm starting to wake up guys. <laughs> I was half asleep when I got here. I got a one-year-old at home who um, is teething and he tends to uh, give us a run for our money <laughs> at night here recently. So downstairs, this is gonna be our theater room. It's not gonna be a dedicated theater. I know guys, shoot me. <laughs> um, but here at Dream Media, what we do is we get creative, right? We take any space and we make it into your dream home theater. So this is the space we're working with. You can see there's some speakers here. They had a 5.1, nothing fancy, some old school subs, but we're going all out. 160 inch screen innovations, black diamond screen right here on the wall with the backlit LED zero edge kit. We're going to be doing acoustically transparent. You're going to have the uh, behind the screen, your Focal 1000 series Utopias, LCRs right there lined up to where you don't even see it. It's going to look super clean. We're going to put a sub over here. We're going to be using the SVS 16 Ultras as of right now. Guys, we're talking about spring of 2022 completion, so certain things may change. But I'm just giving you kind of our game plan right now, what's on paper. Back here at the rear of the room, we're going to be doing... Our rears, one behind this door and one over there spread out for good dispersion. Focal 1000 series in walls. That baby's barely gonna squeeze in there. Um, access point right here on the ceiling to mesh together with the rest of the house. And what's great is, is we had a little dead spot um, between the pool and the kitchen. And this one being right here is gonna kind of bridge that gap as well as fill into the game room, which I'll show you in a minute. So 
2 system. We're going to do, be doing another SVS 16 Ultra back here. And then we're going to be doing six in ceiling speakers. So the configuration of Dolby Atmos that we're going to be using, you guys know that we love Dolby Atmos, is going to be a 5.2.6. Really, really awesome effects ripping around above you. So two, two, two. And he's going to go with something just nice and cozy, not theater seating, like a big cloud couch or something. Um, you can see the reason we're not doing a 7.2.6, right guys? We got windows right here. It's just not going to work. And he doesn't want a speaker right in the middle of the window here. So, and this would be a little bit too far forward to put it here. So at least we got curtains, you know, to help with the acoustics. We'll also do some acoustic treatment and some more than likely, um, here on the ceiling. We're going to be doing our projector and power. Now, this is where we're going to terminate everything. Figured this is a good location um, because we have easy access. It's kind of central to the home. So we're going to rip out all this shelving and we're going to put our rack in here. We're going to do the strong FS series 47U rack. Continuing on. That's the boiler room, nothing really to see in there. We're gonna connect the control four system in there, so run a Cat6 cable over there. And here, um, we're gonna do a 5.1, uh, four in-ceiling speakers, as well as uh, terminating over here, our uh, Cat6, RG6 power for a TV and a center speaker line. This is gonna be for you know playing games, pool table, foosball table, air hockey, all that fun stuff. Family bonding. I love it. Run a Cat6 cable in here to control all of our um, in-floor radiant heat. So this is another thing that I thought was going to be really cool and I thought you guys would enjoy is the fact that in Colorado, they do it completely different than a lot of other places in the country. Like in Texas, we do HVAC, like central forced air, which uh, is air conditioning and heating. Here in Colorado, there's no air conditioning because <laughs> it just doesn't get uh, hot enough, honestly. We get like one month, uh, July, and a little bit of August where it gets a little warm. But he's also sitting up here super high in elevation. Like I said, I think he's almost at 10,000 feet. But what they use is in-floor radiant heat. It's really efficient. And that's what you see here is the in-floor radiant heat system. So he's got these massive industrial boilers. and part of this system is I'm going to show you guys how to integrate in if you have a home like this your heating system into your control system so these are things that a lot of uh, companies don't show and this is what separates us out from the competition is we want to show you guys all the different aspects and all the different ways that we can make old homes new homes and everything in between work okay continuing through This is gonna be a bunk room and a gym. So I'm not exactly sure how the construction company was trying to explain to me, but somehow in here, they're bringing stairs down here. And there's gonna be a bunk room where we're gonna be doing uh, two speaker terminations as well as a Cat6 RG6 for TV. And then again, we're gonna have the same exact thing, speakers and TV for the gym. Pretty simple. But it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how we actually integrate in these old school panels. Look, we got two wires. <laughs> how do you do it, Zach? Well, guys, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel and we're going to show you exactly how it's done. Bring this old house back to life. When this thing's done, this is gonna be, he's gonna, it's gonna be one heck of an investment, let's just say that, because the reason that people don't want these older homes is because they're dated, and it's a huge project to bring it up to today's standards. Okie dokie, well guys, that is the project. This is uh, gonna be super fun. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this content. 
I think it's something that no other company has ever done. Uh, I know we've already been kind of leading the way for other companies on media and how we present ourselves with uh, true just transparency. And this is gonna be a cool project to, to show some unique aspects, things that you guys aren't seeing on a day-to-day -day basis with like our pre-wires. But I hope this not only helps our customers, but also helps our preferred installers. Like I said earlier, we got guys, shout out to all our guys. I really appreciate all the hard work that you guys do every single day, but we got preferred installers throughout the entire country who are put into situations like this. Um, I gave a shout out to Jose, the Wire Ninjas in New Jersey. Um, he, he is a classic example over there in New York, New Jersey of retro wiring. Uh, down in the south, we get lucky. We got a lot of new construction and easy to work with homes. Um, over there on the east coast, <laughs> it's not easy. And I got mad respect for him. Um, we're gonna be showing some examples of that here. And I'm excited. You know, big thanks to the customer for putting his trust in me and putting his trust in Dream Media and our team. Uh, I look forward to making his dreams come true and uh, hitting the slopes. Uh, shredding <laughs> out here in Colorado. We are within about 30 minutes of five ski resorts. I wish you could see right now, but you got the full Gore Range popping up out there. You got Buffalo Mountain, Red Mountain, the 10 mile range you can even see all the way out. I mean, this is just a really gorgeous property. And I'm a big skier. I'm also big into living a, a quality life. And that's what all this stuff is about, guys, is quality of living. And I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Well, if you guys would like to purchase anything, home theater, two-channel, automation related, reach out and show your support. My audio video consultants are on standby. Like I said earlier, we FaceTime video conference with you. We're in 2021, and we know that. We're coming into 2022, and Dream Media is going to continue to evolve and adapt with what's needed to be efficient and get you guys the best products, the best service, and just grow a solid business. Can't do it without you guys. We ship throughout the entire nation. If we don't have a preferred installer in your area, we can at least provide the products. We are very competitive. Okay guys, well, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. If there's anything that you guys wanna see, Drop some comments down below. We are now responding to all of our comments and I want my guys to, to make me a list of things that you guys wanna see on this project. I want everybody to, to get involved and get excited. I think this is gonna be really cool and it's right in my backyard. So I don't have to catch a flight out, <laughs> which helps things out. I can be more hands-on here. Anyways, till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.